One of the things I see happen a lot in Power BI is people creating measures and then not being able to actually find where that measure went. So you've loaded all of your data into Power BI and you're at a stage where you're ready to create your graphics and you've created a whole load of measures to create those graphics off. But the measures, you, you just you can't find them. Now imagine you have tables and tables, fields and fields of data. This is a very small data set from an analysis that I'm carrying out at the moment for this Irish politician. He's actually the Taoiseach of Ireland at the moment. And I've only got a couple of fields of data. But what I've done is I have created measures. And you'll recognize a measure by this little calculator symbol here beside the name of the measure. So I've created some measures and most of the measures have gone into the tables that they relate to, but this particular one for comments, which is the count of the comments for Enda, has actually gone in under date. Now, you know, if I had tables and tables of data and fields and fields of data, that would be impossible to find. So what I'm going to show you is a nifty trick that you can use to organize all of your measures so you don't have this problem. And anybody that's used to using Power BI and big sets of data, you'll know exactly the problem that I'm talking about. You even see when people are doing demonstrations on Power BI, this problem happening to them and they're looking for where their measure actually went. So let me show you how to actually solve the measure. What we're going to do is we are going to create a new table by saying enter data and it says create table. And I'm going to name this table my measures. And once I've named the table, I'm not going to change anything because I don't really need anything in it. I'm just going to select load. And what you'll see now is you have a new table over in your field list called my measures. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to locate any measures that I actually have. So I have comments here, so I'm going to highlight comments and I am going to go to modeling and in modeling from the home table, I'm going to change this from date to my measures and that's going to move from date to my measures. I'm then going to go in here to Enda Kenny's posts and again I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to move any of my measures into my measures table. Have I got any more? I have this average sentiment. You don't need, don't click it, don't tick it, just select it and I'm going to move this into my measures. Now this column one, if we select the column one, I can hide this column one. And what we now have over here is all of my measures in one fields list or in one table list. What I recommend you do now is anytime you create a new measure, you then move it into the my measures table as soon as you've actually created it. Now, by moving it into the My Measures table afterwards, it doesn't seem to affect the relationships as such, because we'll see down here now in our table view, in our diagram view, we now have a new table called My Measures. And in here, you have all your measures, but there's no actual relationships created here, because the relationships were used when you were actually creating the measure in the create new in the new measure field so you can see if you select any of the items on the graph they still actually work they're not broken because you've moved your measures but you will see the my measures table is now highlighted and we haven't needed to create any additional relationships to ensure that the data stays intact so that's my quick tip for you on how to manage all of your measures so you can easily find them because I know it can be a problem. I've had the same problem over time where I find it difficult to actually find the measures I have created. If you liked this video, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. You might even post a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. We will have a playlist of Power BI videos in addition to our playlist of Excel videos where you will also come up with a playlist of DAX videos as well because DAX videos is very important if you're going to get Power BI 
right. You can also visit our website at www.theexileclub.com. Thanks very much. Goodbye now.